Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Earthling Nutrition. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's topic is on something that I have mentioned in previous videos, just concerning salt content in the diets. I've received some questions about, you know, what is no salt and, you know, should I be doing it? Will it benefit my health? And I'd like to just clear up some confusion that uh, people may be having. And so when I say no salt, I don't mean no sodium because of course we need sodium. It is a vitally essential nutrient to have in our bodies. It's responsible for so many things um, in the regulation of our body and its processes. It's definitely uh, not a zero sodium diet. But when I say no salt, what I actually mean is no added sodium chloride. And so no added table salts or sauces and you know seasonings that contain a lot of added salts. Uh, what I do recommend you eat is whole plant foods that come with salt, you know, already in the package. Whole plant foods really do have everything that you need from protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, and natural sodium. So the daily minimum that we need is 180 milligrams, even though it's recommended that we consume 1,500 milligrams a day. So I have never understood why we're recommended to be eating so much if it takes only 180 milligrams to replenish the amount that's lost in our sweat throughout the day. And so what I do recommend is that you are tracking your calories, tracking the levels of sodium that you have in your diet as well as fat of course, and so you can know whether you're hitting that 180 minimum. Uh, what is the maximum? I would say 500 milligrams is the maximum. You do not need to be reaching up to what's recommended. We are recommended to do a whole lot of things in the Canadian Food Guide and the American Food Guide that just aren't accurate. They don't have any scientific evidence that you know shows that they're healthy recommendations. You know, we can see that even just the fact that they recommend we have three servings of milk a day, right? Um, what we're recommended is not always what's closest uh, to the truth uh, scientifically wise. And so just to clarify, when I say no salt, I mean no added salt. I still want you to be reaching that range between 180 and 500 milligrams of sodium a day, and this should be coming from whole plant foods. You shouldn't be adding salt to anything, uh, unless you're in the beginning phases of cutting down on salts, and if you just want to sprinkle a little bit on the surface of your food, I think that's perfectly fine as well. Salt is one of those things that our taste buds crave as much as they're used to getting. And so if you're eating a whole bunch of salt, it's going to be quite challenging to go no salt right away. I have a few videos on, you know, the reduction of salt in your diet that you can check out. I'll link them in the description. But the first tip that you can try is just stop adding salt when you're preparing your food and just wait until it's on your plate or in your bowl and then add a sprinkle of salt on the surface. And that way that surface salt is going to be hitting your taste buds directly and you're going to get, you know, that satisfaction from the salt without having a whole bunch of sodium coming into your body. If you are eating a diet rich in whole plant foods and still not getting enough sodium, then I would recommend adding a little bit. But please be aware of the amounts because water retention, bloating, and all the other risk factors that you know consuming excess sodium in the diet causes are really not worth the mistake of adding too much salt. So once again, you know, I'm not saying cut out sodium from your diet, I'm just saying cut out added salts and get your sodium from whole plant foods. Um, there are foods that contain naturally more salt than others, so carrots and celery and just, you know, you can look up uh, a list on the internet and find out what foods are higher in sodium and which ones are lower in sodium if you want to cut back. But when you're eating a diet that is centered around whole plant foods, you don't really have to worry too much about, you know, getting what you need. It's diets that are, you know, high in processed foods where things are stripped away from it that, you know, pose a risk to your health because you're not getting what is naturally found in those plant foods. I hope that this video has been of some help. Have a wonderfully abundant day, guys, and see you next video. Bye.